Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and I'm building a straight-tailed Sonics with a Jabiru 3300 engine. And I'm also building or filming some other fun things in the aviation world as well too. So today we're gonna go work on the airplane, but first we gotta check the chickens. Morning. Good morning, ladies. And we're back in the shop. Let me go ahead and take a little bit of time to clean up everything. So I've got metal shards everywhere, and it's all a little bit unkempt. So here I go. People ask why it takes so long to build an airplane. Here's why. Because when I was vacuuming, I ended up sucking up all the wires for the tail light assembly thing. Now it's going to take me an hour to take this vacuum apart and pull this all out. And I'll probably have to go ahead and re-pull uh, these wires through. Luckily I have the whole thing to pull it from, but uh, I'll put new wires in because there's could have been damaged from this. But I don't want to cut it out. I still want to see how many feet it was because it was so long ago. I don't remember how many feet of wire I had for it. But anyway, so that'll be an extra hour to the project, but always something. Got the cord out of the vacuum and finished vacuuming the floor. Looks pretty nice now. I uh, went ahead and put the bottom of the airplane on, just with a few clicos, just to hold on for a minute or two. Again, just to make sure everything's square, because that's um, one of the last pieces that'll really tweak it, and make sure I had enough clicos to hold this web on, which also keeps it square. And it is rock solid now. So I'm going to, um, I went ahead and took out every other clico so I could make sure it all uh, kind of settled into place. I'm about to flip them out again. But I'm still having trouble with this one spot right here. So the issue is that this um, focus camera focus, the seat belt holder is pushing out that rib too far. So although everything balanced and, and proper, I'm going to go ahead and take the floor off one more time and then. Um, move this rib and then grind that down because I have more than enough strength on the um, the eyelet to hold the seatbelt holder and I'll go ahead and put it back up and it should be good to go. Found out that these little waves are from these cups, uh, the little dimples going from skin A to skin B and into the longeron are not 100% um, aligned. So I'm taking my dimple die and I'm going uh, hole by hole around the entire airplane I'm doing every other rivet right now, and I'm dimpling and pulling and squishing the metal from hole A and hole B into the receiving um, uh, countersunk area, and it's making it nice and flat. So we'll see how it all looks at the end. But I'm very happy about how it's turning out now. I was a little nervous about it yet, uh, the other day when I was working on it because I really didn't want it to have a bunch of waves in it. So taking so much time to do it nicely, I want it to look nice. So we'll see how it comes out now. I'm having a lovely day out here, just going after these uh, dimple dies one by one. I have this little blue speaker right here that uh, we got a while ago to um, play music Bluetooth. I'm just blasting out to uh, uh, Phantom of the Opera right now, the whole soundtrack. But I want to show you a little trick I learned. Um, back here is a dimple die. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's too far away. Oops. Let's see if I can get this better. It's too far away uh, for me to reach around and hold it in. So what I'm doing is taking a piece of tape and sticking it on so I can go and put the other side on over here. Because so when I put my head of the um, uh, rivet puller on here to pull it, it'll push the, the, the um, nail backwards and it'll fall out. So I'm putting the tape on there to hold it on so that way it doesn't fall out and I have to have a second person out here to help me. It's the little things in life, right? Pause my music so Andrew Lloyd Webber doesn't demonetize me. All right, so here is the side I have not done yet. Look how bumpy it is. I'm not sure if it translates to this film or not. But you see, maybe you see, maybe you don't. It's just a wobble back and forth of this particular line, how it affects that. But I am so excited. And it took a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So I had to go under the airplane so many times, but this new line here looks so good. There's almost no bump whatsoever. There's only one spot, and I might go run my dimple die on that one more time. That's the only one. Everything else is perfect. And I might be 
And I might be a bit of a perfectionist for this, but at the same time, that's kind of what I'm enjoying about it. So I'll keep on crunching on it and uh, show you as I go. All right, it's been three hours since I got here. I have the left side dipple dyed and pulled, ready to go. I have the right side, the first portion done. And I will continue these after lunch. And then I'll go ahead and pull some rivets. And also I figured out what was wrong with this rib right here. I think I just had it drilled in the wrong spot. So I'm just going to re-drill the holes because when I kept checking all the measurements, the rib is where it's supposed to be. Um, and the seatbelt holders were supposed to be. So instead of trying to move those around, I'm just gonna re-drill where the rib attaches to the internal frame. And I may put a little um, plate behind there to strengthen that a little bit, but um, again, this thing is so overly strong, it's not even worth overthinking. But I'll keep going and show you the progress after lunch. I finished getting all of the holes dimpled and everything looks fantastic now. I'm really happy with it. All of the holes are flat again, and it looks just great. So now I'm gonna go through the process of pulling all the rivets. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rivets, so it's gonna take a while. So here we go. Popping the uh, bottom on one more time as I pull the rivets at the top, so that way we can, again, just keep it all square. And it's finished. Take a peek. They're all pulled and all flush and the line came out beautifully. I'm very pleased with this. I also went in and pulled all these rows back here. By putting the floor on, I was able to get it straight again so this goes across properly and I can go in there and uh, tack that on a little bit. All these rivets are pulled here. This line's on perfectly too. And it's done. So next I'm going to clean up the shop. There are a couple of tiny rivets inside to pull, but I just wanted to show you the ending because I have to go now. Um, but yeah, so it's it's looking great. I'm really, really excited about this. It's getting further and further along. You all have been fantastic in the comments. I really appreciate it as well too. And um, I'm working on it. I'm going faster now. And again, since I don't have a, a job anymore, thanks 2020, but um, I'm, I'm moving fast and having a lot of fun with this. So thanks so much. Uh, please keep tuned in and um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.